beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado, the site for this college football matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Oklahoma has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. It's second and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Defense has got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long here after the sack. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and six. They'll spread the field with five wide. at the 25-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Let's get off the field. Easy, easy. easy. Fire. 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 Got him. And he goes down quickly. That makes it second and six. Five wide. He goes out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. He steps out at the 14. That's, That's good, good for a gain of three yards. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. So at the end of one, no score here. That makes it first and goal. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. The Falcons lost a player earlier, and Herbie, this is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. Touchdown, OU! He hits the PAT. 
So a seven play 40 yard drive and the result seven points. Brad I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20 gets out to about the 21. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Out of bounds along the 31 yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Goes to the receiver, incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Ready! He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 46 yard line. Here's the. Nope, they snap into the up back. And he's taken down at the 49. You talk about a risky play, but hey, it worked, and it worked well. I mean, I don't think anybody on the return team knew where the ball went. And this play is number eight on the drive. secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. From the 23-yard line, first down. He's scrambling, and he's tackled around the 19-yard line. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Air Force will take their first time out of the half. And he's level at the 22. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 22-yard line, third down. This is the 12th play of this drive. Just throws this one away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Scramble. 
scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. And he's going to come up with a sack. We played a half. Oklahoma leads 7-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it's it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast paced, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back everybody. Second half action about to begin. From the seven. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Has some daylight. He makes his way to about the 48. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. The tailback, the intended target. Well, here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. it fly incomplete smart play being ready for the pass and swatting it away and he's tackled at the 20. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes his way to about the 28. So they run the option, and it's the fullback who gives them a good eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down at the 38. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up third and two. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 40, Mike 40. 
40. Ready. Check, check. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. That's three down and one to go. Oklahoma's lead is a touchdown. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Just under two to go in the game. Runs it left for a decent game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled at the 35. Scoops it up. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They make the stop at the 41-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Green nine, green nine, green nine. He's into the open field. The 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. And that was an outstanding run by that young man. Brad, you're exactly right. The ball carrier is able to break through the secondary without much resistance at all. Touchdown, Sooners. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude. Okay, it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Just over a minute left. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He airs it out. At the 30. And he snags that one. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Here comes the pressure. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. That makes it seven and six. Spikes the ball. From the 20-yard line, it's third down. He's under pressure. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woe. Rifles at right. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. What a 
time for that touchdown, and now they've still got a chance in this game. And he tacks on the extra point. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Under a minute left. He takes the knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Air Force has called their final timeout. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 37. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. So that's going to do it. The Sooners get the win, 14-7. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.